I'm Christine Dunbar from SpeechModification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll break down how to pronounce Uyghur in American English and also how it's pronounced in the Uyghur language. So looking at this word, this is an ethnic group, uh, Turkish ethnic group, um, mostly notable in the news because of the group in China, uh, but it's originally um, a group that has historical locations other places as well. What we want to look at here is um, the spelling and the sound. So in English, we, the most common way that we pronounce Uyghur is with the Uyghur pronunciation where we use the, for the letters UI, we say a, a W and an E sound, we. It's just like the word we, um, small we or this we. And then we pronounce this second syllable um, with a G and an er sound, which I've written here for you just like ger, because there's not really a lot of vowel quality there. We just move from the G into our tight American R. We have first syllable stress in the American English pronunciation, Uyghur. So you would say it that way, Uyghur, Uyghur Muslims, um, etc. In the Uyghur language, the sounds are a little bit different. And so if you try to say it that way, I'm not going to, I'll build it up for you and I'll try, but I'm going to be making some mistakes because of my inexperience with this language. In their language, they pronounce it with an oo sound followed by a y glide. So already that's something that we don't have. We don't really have oo y in English. And so the combination is hard for us. Some um, English speakers will do kind of an uh, ui, ui sound, um, which actually, when you hear that, that's where the part, maybe part of where our w sound come from, comes from, or our we, that our, when we have a w sound, it's really a glide between an u and an a. Uh. And so if you do an u and an e, ui, ui, you can hear how it sounds actually similar to we. So this is not the worst pronunciation in the world. It's not the furthest from the authentic. Again, I would say knowing your audience um, that if you're speaking with others and they use the, the pronunciation Uyghur, then you're all going to be on the same page for communicating. If you're speaking um, to Uyghur people, listen for how they do it. Do your best to imitate it. Ask them for help. This is true in any non-native language that you're, you know, your sound system, your way of hearing it is always going to be influenced by what you can hear and differentiate. So they have the oo sound. They have the y glide. Then this sound here is what's called a voiced velar fricative. So we have um, voiced velar stop sounds like we have one, the g sound. It just means g, where my tongue lifts for the g, that's where the constriction would be for the fricative. So a fricative just means that a constriction makes some noise. So in that case, that sound would sound like g. <laughs> so again, this is not a sound we remotely have in English. Um, there's some similar sounds in German. Um, there's our voiceless, like um, and maybe further back, more glottal. At any rate, um, so that's going to stump us. So we go as close as we can with our g sound. It's stopped rather than um, fricative. Um, so if you're gonna, if you could make a g and that could you could hold it. <laughs> um, so <laughs> um, It's hard for me. I don't, it's not part of my sound system. Um, I could work on trying to master it. And then they have another oo. So to represent the voice velar fricative, I'm just going to put like a G sound that continues and it has some frication. Um, or you could visualize that symbol. And then another oor, um, which we have again, kind of oor. We say that in words like tour or poor if you use that pronunciation. So oor. <laughs> um, is my attempt at putting together these sounds for the native language of the Uyghurs, how they would say it. Um, when you um, look at that, it makes this seem not so bad. <laughs> um, for people can, who can speak this language, you know, this pronunciation is obviously not correct. 
Um, but given our sound system, it's sort of our translation into English of this pattern of sounds. Um, they also will stress on the starting with a voiced velar fricative here. We go, we go, so you're going to have more length there. I wouldn't necessarily recommend changing from Uyghur, the English pronunciation, simply because if you're speaking English, talking with other people in English about the Uyghurs, you're going to want to use the pronunciation that people understand. But it also might help you recognize, okay, this spelling doesn't seem to really match this pronunciation. So I would say this is maybe more representative of what's happening in the sounds here. It's just that we're not really very good at making those sounds here. It's actually pretty good if you look at letter U and U, letter Y and Y, and then the GH to try to represent this voiced velar fricative, and then another U and an ER. Um, so the spelling makes sense when you know the sounds of the actual language um, and their word. Okay, so long story short, you're probably going to stick with Uyghur, um, but maybe like me, you're interested in where does this come from? What are these sounds? What's the spelling here? Um, so I, I'm just giving you a little bit of bonus information today. If you have a request you'd like to see me cover in one of my videos, feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos. We talk about mostly words, but sometimes names and place names. We also have many videos for sounds, learning the IPA symbols, learning how to break down words, and also um, videos for sentences, fluent English, how to take how words are different when you say them by themselves and how to integrate them into your speech. That's in our Real Talk series and our Real Talk online course. Check out our online courses on speechmodification.com. They're all either free or available for under $2. So to give you a good strong foundation in pronunciation without breaking your budget. I'll be back again tomorrow with a word of the day class as well as on Friday, we'll have our live question and answer class. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to the channel and especially joined as channel members. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Use the notifications button bell. Uh, click on that if you'd like to get updated when I'm live and when I have new videos uploaded. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. speechmodification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again tomorrow.